four partners in the hospital. Come on, Alex, you're a good cop. By the way, who's my new partner? We call him Yo-Yo. He weighs 427 pounds. He's a completely mobile computer, specially programmed for police work. Is he indestructible? We think so. Send in Holmes. secret. No one, including Holmes, must know his identity. Alex, no, don't. You're not a person. You're not going to tell them? In my book, you got to make yourself a good cop. That's what I put in my report. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Alex! Oh, I'm sorry, hold up. Sergeant, I think we've got him this time. We got here five minutes after the call, sealed off the building. There's no way the bomber can get out of there. Did you call the bomb squad? They're on their way. Don't let anybody in or out of that building. Oh, Sergeant, this is Dr. Rubin. He's the dentist who discovered the bomber. Double check, make sure everybody's out of the building. Right, Sergeant. Tell us what happened, Doctor. Well, I came to work early and I surprised the bomber in my office, taking the bomb out of a briefcase. Uh, he hit me in the jaw, but I managed to lock him in my office, in the treatment room. And then I ran to a phone and I called the police. You did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think he broke my tooth. You better see a dentist. They're all so expensive. <laughs> Come on, yo, yo let's get up to the sixth floor. Hey, the building's supposed to be cleared. Tell that guy to get out of here and hop to it. Hey, mister, there's a bomb in the building. You better get out of here. Yo, yo, hop to it is just a figure of speech. It doesn't mean you have to hop. It means you have to move fast. You're taking it too literally. Thanks, Alex. I'll make a note of it. Now, let's hop to it. Care to join me? Yo, yo, there's a bomb about to go off upstairs. You want to miss it? Come on. Alex, the elevator's electric eye is reacting to my circuits. What are you going to do? I have a plan. Take care of it. I've got another plan. You take the stairs, I'll take the elevator. I'll meet you on the sixth floor. How'd you get here so fast? I used the stairway like you told me. Dr. Rubin's office is over here. Can't get open. I said open, not off. <laughs> Alex, he's gone. Let's start looking for that bomb. Is it? Now, what difference does that make? I want to know how much time we have before the bomb goes off. It's in the vent? It's set for 9 a.m. 
That gives us about 10 minutes. Would you care to leave? Get the bomb squad up here and quick. Bomb is in the air vent in Dr. Rubin's treatment room, suite 608. Sergeant, one of our men just spotted the bomber. He's up on the roof. You take the stairs, I'll take the elevator. Wait here for the bomb squad. He's not here, Alex. I've checked everywhere. There's no place he could be hiding. Check in there? Oh, Alex, he'd have to be crazy to be hiding in there. That's the air vent. I better check it myself. Bomb squad got here. I doubt it. <laughs> Get in here. This is the fifth dentist that's been hit. You had the bomber trapped. How do you get away? What? The bomb really reverberated in the air vent, Captain. It's temporarily impaired his hearing. What? <laughs> okay, okay. What do we know about this bomb? He gets to the office early, before the dentist, sets the bomb to go off at 9 o'clock, and then calls to give enough warning to clear the building. What? Yo-Yo, I want you to find the link between the bombings and those five dentists. I want you to find out what they had in common. What? <laughs> Holmes, I want you to go down to the infirmary and get your ears washed out. And that's an order! That's a what? An order! Thank you very much. Yo-Yo, the lab just called. The fragments are the same as in the four previous bombings. Here's all the information. Thanks, Max. It's a pleasure, Yo-Yo. Well, I bet you could use Barney D'Angelo on this case. Barney D'Angelo? Barney. Well, you were with the 23rd Precinct, weren't you? Oh, yes. Well, what division? The Bunko Squad. Well, so was Barney. The Bunko Squad. That's right, the Bunko Squad. The Bunko Squad. <laughs> you keep repeating the Bunko Squad. The Barney D'Angelo. <laughs> I knew him well. I'm back. Oh, how are you feeling? How did it go at the infirmary? What? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Find anything in those reports? Oh, nothing. Anything those five dentists had in common? The five dentists who were bombed all had offices in different parts of town. Three were Caucasian, one black, and one oriental. Well, at least we know one thing. What's that? He's an equal opportunity bomber. <laughs> Partner, we gotta have a plan. Let's go visit all five dentists who were bombed and see what they have in common. Dr. Yates? In here. Now, we'd like to talk to you for a minute. About what? Yeah, I don't know if you remember us, yeah. but we were here last week. How could I forget you? You were the officer who was kind enough to tell me not to worry, that everything was under control. That's right. Two minutes before the bomb went off. That's new equipment. Please don't touch the chair. Doctor, uh, how many people have access to this office? What are you getting at, Alex? I don't know yet. Well, my nurse has a key. And the cleaning crew has cleaning a key. Cleaning crew? Yes, Hercules Cleaning and Maintenance. Don't touch the chair. They're a private service. They specialize in cleaning medical offices. They specialize in cleaning medical offices. Do you know if many other dentists use them? Well, they must, because they have a very, very nice truck. Don't touch the chair. <laughs> Excuse me! We're police officers. We're looking for your supervisor. I'm the supervisor! 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 I'm Bruce Weston. What can I do for you? We just came from your office. They said we'd find you here. Is he dead? Nobody at your office! Nobody at your office would give us a personnel list without your okay. We need to check all the men in your cleaning crews. Well, what for? We're investigating recent bombings of dentist's offices. 
And we discovered through an odd coincidence that your firm services all five victims. Oh, well, uh, that's no coincidence. We service 70% of the dentists in the city. We, uh, we just happen to be the best. We clean, we disinfect, we wax, we polish. Nevertheless, we like to check your crew. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll call the office and get you an okay to get a list. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> I say, welcome. Well, that's another Hercules employee that checks out above suspicion. Yeah, my list is clean, too. Don't have to be a college graduate to realize we finally hit a dead end. What did those five dentists have in common that made the bomber go out after them? Alex! That's it. You just said it when oh, you said... Oh, what I said. What did I say? College graduate. That's right. I said that. Alex, on all five walls of those dentist offices, there were college diplomas. Well, all dentists have college diplomas. Yes, but all five diplomas were from Ohio State. Are you sure, yo -Yo? I'll show you. <laughs> You're right. Both Dr. Yates and Dr. Rubin are from Ohio State. What about the other three? What's wrong? I'm out of film. <laughs> Dr. Middleman is from Ohio State. We're in business. Hello, Dr. Middleman? This is Sergeant Holmes. Uh, can you tell me what dental college you graduated from? We're in business. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Come on, let's check the State Dental Association and see how many other Ohio State graduates are practicing in the city. <laughs> here. Put me through to Captain Sedford right away. Alex, do you realize that this is the first break we've had on this case? There are five dentists in this town who graduated from Ohio State, and those are the five dentists who've already been bombed. So whatever it was the bomber had against Ohio State, there's no one left to bomb. It's all over. <laughs> What's up? Just wanted to tell you, we're still working on it, Harry. <laughs> Dr. Mandel's office. Dr. Mandel? No, uh, Dr. Mandel hasn't arrived yet, fortunately. Well, this is his answering service, and I have a... Uh, wait, could, could you hold on, please? Thank you very much, Miss Pincus. Alex? Dr. Mandel also uses Hercules Cleaning and Maintenance Service. Well, that makes six out of six. What I don't understand is, why didn't the bomber call and warn Dr. Mandel? He warned all of the other victims. Uh, hello. Oh, I have a message for Dr. Mandel. Someone called about an hour ago, a Mr. A. Bomber. Uh, something about leaving a plant in the office, and it's going to do something about 9 o'clock. Can't read my writing too well, but I think he said, Bloom. Uh, close enough. Thank you. The bomber called. The answering service goofed. So did the Dental Association. Why wasn't Dr. Mandel's name on that list of Ohio State graduates? Because Dr. Mandel is a graduate of Harvard Dental School. Alex, do you know what that means? It means the bomber has changed his M.O. He's gone through all the dentists from Ohio State, and now he's into Harvard. You could have read my mind. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am? Am I late for my appointment? <laughs> Hey, Alex. Good news. Of all the Harvard dentists practicing in this city, 55 of them are serviced by Hercules Cleaning and Maintenance Service. That's terrific. Men? What's happened? Good news, sir. The bomber's changed his M.O. He's all through with Ohio State, and now he's after Harvard graduates. And we're sure Hercules Cleaning Service is tied into this. Any proof? Not yet. Where does it end? 
Do you realize that people are afraid to go to the dentist? <laughs> Holmes, I want every available man put on this case. I want results. Gotcha, Harry. Alex, I'll check with you later. I'll call you. I've got to make a speech at my alma mater. You're flying up to Oregon? UCLA. I thought you went to Oregon State. Alex, I did for two years and then I transferred, remember? I'll see you later. Thank you, Dr. Cunningham. That's all I need to know. Oh, one more thing, doctor. Don't go to your office tomorrow morning until you hear from us. Good night, sir. Alex? Hey, Alex. What is it? Were you sleeping? Uh, no, I was thinking. You were snoring? Well, I was thinking about sleeping. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Alex, Captain Sedford said that he transferred to UCLA from Oregon State. You disturbed my thinking to tell me that? Well, it occurred to me that if the captain could transfer from one college to another, maybe Dr. Mandel did. I doubt So it. I checked with him, and he did. On the other hand... He started at Ohio State, and then he transferred to Harvard in his second year. But the important thing is this, Alex. He was at Ohio State the same time as all the other victims. Well, then that's it. We've got to find out how many other dead has transferred out of Ohio State. I've already done that. We're in luck. There's only one, Dr. Jules Cunningham. Then he's got to be next. We've got to warn Dr. Cunningham. I've already done that. Okay, well, we've got to set a stake out in Dr. Cunningham's office and lay a trap to catch the bomber. I've already done that. Well, I'm going to the bathroom. Or have you already done that? R3, come on in. This is R3. I'm checking the people showing up for work. Everything seems normal so far. Okay, R3. R20, report in, please. Holmes, where are you? This is R20 reporting in. I can't hear you. Hello? Alex, if there's a bomb here, I can't find it. What's the matter? No, something's wrong with this walkie-talkie. Well, let me take a look at it. Maybe I... Come in, R20. Where are you? Oh, it seems to be working now. Well, this is R20 reporting in. Alex, that wasn't... Come in, R20. Come in, R20. Come in, R20. Come in, R20. Hey, that's coming out of you. That's coming out of your mouth. I'm sorry, Alex. They seem to be broadcasting on my frequencies. Well, how am I going to report in? I can't talk into you. Hello, hello, hello. You're coming in clear, R20. <laughs> Alex, you're going to have to talk in my ear and listen at my mouth. I'm not going to talk in your ear and listen. This is R20 reporting in. Come in, CP1. This is CP1. Anything wrong up there? No, everything's wonderful. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Not you, the captain. I'll inform the captain right away. Out. Captain, that was headquarters. Dr. Cunningham just got a warning from the bomber. A bomb's already been planted in his office. It's set to go off in 15 minutes. Then he already was in the building when we got here. There's no way he could have gotten out. Alert the bomb squad. R-20, come in. Yo, yo, come here. If there's anything I don't need, it's a walkie-talkie that walks. Alex, <laughs> I found the bomb. You found the bomb? Congratulations. We found the bomb. In a file drawer. In a file drawer. Under B. Under B. For bomb. For bomb? <laughs> Put that down very gently and let's get out of here. But they do, they think it's too deaf. Alex, I... Holmes, where were you? Listen, the bomb squad will take care of the bomb when they get here. You men find the bomber. He's still in the building. You got 15 minutes. Get him. I want him. Come on. Yo, yo. You check all the offices on that side. I'll check the ones on this side. we had about Hercules was right on the nose. Cough him. I'll cough him. <laughs> well, it's too late. Cunningham's office is going to blow up just like the rest of them. Why are you doing this? What have you got against dentists? I hate him. Everybody hates dentists. Well, you don't go around blowing them up. No, no, I really hate him. I went to Ohio State with all of them. 
I flunked out. I asked him to loan me the money to go into business for myself. They turned me down. I swore I'd get revenge. You're crazy, you know that? Alex, we'd better check in. CP1, this is R20. We got the bomber and we're bringing him down right away. Good. Thanks. And you say I'm crazy. <laughs> Hi, Captain. Alex will be right down. Why did you take the step? Oh. Good work, Alex. Uh, take him out to the car. Yo-Yo, the bomb squad isn't here yet, and we haven't got time to get everybody out of the building. I want you to try to dismantle the bomb. I'm not programmed for that, sir. Get up to Dr. Cunningham's office. Get Babcock on the phone. He'll tell you what to do. What it comes down to is that I'm expendable. Isn't that right, Captain? There are 200 people in the building. We'll never get them out in time. What do I do? I'll dismantle the bomb. Thank you. Hi, Harry. Where's Yo-Yo? He went out to dismantle the bomb. Why? Harry, Yo-Yo doesn't know anything about bombs. The only thing that's going to get dismantled is Yo-Yo. Holmes, come back here. I'm coming back, Harry. I got my partner. Well, if Dr. Babcock's not there, who's there that knows about me? No one? Thank you. Yo, yo, don't try to dismantle that bomb. But I have to, Alex. There are 200 people trapped in this building. What? Alex, I think I can compute my own program for dismantling the bomb. But it'll be faster if I program it. You give me the numbers and I'll punch you up. Three, eight, zero, zero, four, seven. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer... I'm into my nightclub program. Alex, I must have transposed the numbers. Oh, well, give them to me again. Three, eight, zero, zero, seven, four. Well, we're getting close. At least we're into dismantling. Alex, I just can't do it. Let's go. No, we can't go. You said there are 200 people in the building. Yo, yo, we can't just leave them in there. Wait. Hey, yo. Yo, yo. Hey, yo, yo. What do you think you're doing? Hey, yo, yo. Yo, yo. into the timer. I've got it running backwards. You think 30 minutes is long enough for the bomb squad to get here? I'm really sorry, Alex. I really didn't know how to dismantle the bomb. Partner, if you didn't know those wires sticking out of your chest, I'd hug you. Oh, Alex, I forgot to tell you. Dr. Babcock adjusted my radio frequencies. I won't be on police bands anymore. Oh, well, that's a relief. Shouting in your ear didn't exactly turn me off. I know. There's a thing around here, big trucker. Yo-yo, what's happening? Alex, I think... Here, I'll smoke you on it. I'll be a Come on. Yo-yo, you're on Citizens Band Radio. Anybody hit my Frisco? Got me a thumb ahead. Uh, Megatory got me on 2nd Avenue on Broadway. Yeah, 10-4, smoke you. 